Despite being located in the heart of Milan, Villa Necchi Campiglio appears discreetly hidden in one of those corners to discover. Just as stones throw away from the colors and noises of the city center. It is not just an historic Milanese residence, but a jewel designed by the great Milanese architect and designer, Piero Portalupi. When you find yourself immersed in the wide private garden that surrounds it, even before reaching the imposing entrance, it is difficult to imagine if you don't know it the story that awaits you once you cross the threshold. The eight steps that separate the garden from the entrance, small and with curved lines, appear taller than they actually are. Perhaps to prick that sense of awe and respect that one must have in front of a work of art. We enter and are welcomed into an environment designed for busy homeowners, where luxury is not excessive, but manages to blend harmoniously with innovations such as elevators, dumb waiters, internal intercoms, and electrically operated windows. An environment with an elegant and rigorous style that mitigates the rationality of the external environment, which had already been softened in part by the pool and tennis court. The raised floor is dedicated to reception and representation rooms where we admire the splendid library, the first floor to the bedrooms, the attic to the accommodations for the servants, the basement to the service rooms and leisure activities for the homeowners. The entire environment is dominated by the large staircase leading to the upper floor. As we ascend, we caress the handrail of the staircase that Portalupi had designed with dry geometries, but with the warmth of the wood that composes it, it appears sweeter. We clearly notice the shapes adorning the railing of the staircase. This is the constant around which the great designer conceived his project for Villa Necchi Campiglio. Just look up to see them on the ceiling and in many other architectural details of the house. Something more than just a detail, but a constant, non-invasive feature that makes any space unique. The elegance is undeniable. But what one can feel in every breath is the extraordinary modernity of a house that is almost a century old but appears modern to us who admire it today. The division of spaces and the stucco work bring a luxurious and modern dimension to comfort. A dimension characterized by downright brilliant technological solutions. From the homogeneous panel heating system that looks like the radiators we see in all homes today, but in the 1930s, represented not only a luxury, but above all an innovation, to the lighting system incorporated into the moldings on the ceilings. With the sun and perfect distribution of natural light entering through the large portalupi designed windows, light is certainly not lacking. However, the layout and size of the house make it impossible to rely solely on lamps and chandeliers for illumination. So, Portalupi's genius led him to study a solution that is still modern and relevant today, with the irradiation system. This is yet another demonstration of how technology and innovation were not just a display of ostentation, but rather tools in the service of a new idea of comfort that would inspire our way of living in homes in the years to come. This is what the Necchi sisters and Angelo Campiglia wanted, and in just three years, they got it. As Portalupi typically does, like other great designers of the time, he doesn't overlook any details and takes care of all the furnishings, consistently repeating that diamond-shaped module that will become his signature on the villa. Watch the next video to find out the curious story of this jewel of a house.